hear me? Let me see you put your ones in the sky. A Million the Poet is used to performing in front of large crowds in countries such as the UK and Amsterdam, as well as here at home. However, on this evening, he is performing in front of a virtual one. A Million the Poet explains why. We made history. We was able to bless uh, a few thousand youth in New Orleans today. Baton Rouge Youth Coalition, to be exact. Uh, was contacted by AEG, salute to them, and today we gave them a virtual prom. As you notice, coronavirus has affected everyone's lives, and if anybody knows me, youth lives matter most. And uh, today I was able to use this stage to help make this a night for them to remember, and a night that they wouldn't forget since they couldn't do their prom the way they would, of course, want to do it. The COVID-19 pandemic has put a hold on the world's economy and has affected many in the entertainment industry. But giving back to the community keeps a million humble. I mean, professionally, I'm two months off of uh, postponing tours. I was supposed to go back to Europe, have my Euro tour. Supposed to be in New Orleans, supposed to be in Texas, a host of other places. But, I mean, me not being able to perform is, is, is minuscule to people not knowing where the next meal was going to be. As we pay tribute to our civil servants, medical professionals, and transportation workers during this time, remember, there are unsung heroes in our communities. All I ask is that you use whatever platform you have. It might not be music, it might not be poetry, it might not even be speaking. Whether you're a coach, whether you're a teacher, there's a lot of virtual ways that we can still affect these youth out here, and we must use those. Uh, I just believe we're blessed to be blessings. Loud and moving pack crowds. Listen to them scream loud at Oasis Lounge. Funny they ain't want smoke, but I brought it to them. Key to the city, it ain't pretty, but I bought it to them.